What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, we will learn how to play PlayStation 2 games on your Android device with the help of Nether SX2 emulator. Guys, I'm not kidding and this is definitely not a clickbait. You can see clearly that I'm playing PS2 games on my Android device. For your kind information, my device has just an entry level chipset, but I can run any PlayStation 2 games with high definition and 60 FPS. Today, I'm going to guide you on how to set up the Nether SX2 emulator settings and best configuration, control customization, and how to add PS2 games on Nether SX2 to emulator it's a complete tutorial so watch the full video carefully please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button Before we are going to start the video, please let me introduce the Nether SX2 emulator is a modified version of Aether SX2. Unfortunately, Aether SX2 is no longer available. Nether SX2 a stable application that can turn any Android device into a PS2 console. Before we are going to install the Nether SX2, please have a look what we need to run the Nether SX2 emulator. We need a total of three elements Nether SX2 emulator herself, PlayStation 2 BIOS file, and game files that you already owned legally. You can see I have already managed these elements, and I recommend you at first create a folder in the internal storage and give it a name like ps2 then move all the files inside the ps2 folder let's download the nether sx2 application on our android phone as i said before nether sx2 is available in the github page as well as the official website but i prefer to download it from the github because it always updates our second element is BIOS. The PlayStation BIOS files required to run the Nether SX2 emulator. Unfortunately, I can't share any direct links here. Third element we will need is the PS2 game file that you want to play. Remember, you should only use the game that you own a legal copy for Nether SX2. Before you try any games, you can check the compatibility game list of Nether SX2 to see which PS2 games are playable on Nether SX2 emulator and what is the minimum requirement is needed. Now let's launch the Nether SX2 application. We are going to see a welcome screen from the Nether SX2 emulator. Just click on the next button and the next page is just going to give us some disclaimers and instructions. If you have time, you can read or click the next button. Now we are going to see settings page if your device has high configuration at least snapdragon 845 then you should select optimal slash safe default if you have a low end device then select fast slash unsafe default. Emulation screen orientation is landscape, expect ratio is widescreen 16 by 9, UI language obviously English. You can select API OpenGL or Vulkan, it's up to you. Upscale multiplier means it will increase or decrease your native display resolution. I prefer to use 4x. Now you can click on the next button. On the next page, they are going to ask you to import the BIOS file. So just click on import BIOS over here and navigate to the PS2 folder where you have placed your BIOS files. This one over here correspond to the Euro PS2 console, however, it won't make any difference if you are using a BIOS file from different region. As you can see, our bin file has been imported. Now it will ask you to select the directory or folder where you placed the PS2 game files. So just click on the plus icon over here and navigate to the game folder. Click on use this folder to give access Nether SX2 to use our phone storage. Then click on next button. Our primary setup is complete. You just have to click on the finish button. You can see our games are now displaying in the game library. You can switch from list to grid mode. 
I think you notice that this game has no cover just click and hold on a game and you can upload the cover from here guys let's start a quick game as you can see the game is going to launch within the nether sx2 at this point I would like to recommend switching your device to landscape mode it allows for much better gameplay as you can see I'm playing Mortal Kombat Deception the gaming experience is depending on the the game you are playing and how powerful your android phone or tablet is if you want to save game state you can just click on the pause icon then select save state then choose one of the empty slot to save the game if you want to load any save game click on the pause icon again then select load state then select one of the save slot that's it if you want to watch something like this please like and subscribe to our channel join our discord server for any type of information see you in the next video take care